Hello all you YouTubers out there in YouTube land, it's your VHS Collector Kyle here with another Muppet Review. I wanted to thank all of the people who have been watching and liking my videos. I know I don't have that very many followers or very many subscribers, uh, but thank y'all. Uh, waving to Hartley. And I want to give a thanks to all the people who have clicked on my videos, who have not liked them, who have not subscribed, but who have at least clicked on them, watched them for a little bit, and then clicked on something else. Waving to those who did not finish the video. Before I get started on the this video and everything, I wanted to uh, at least let everybody know that there will be spoilers, there will be pictures. So if you don't want to watch this uh, first, then uh, switch off of me and go watch uh, the episode. What? Hey, why did you throw a, a bleep in there? What? You thought I cursed? I said, stop that. <sighs> Sorry for that inconvenience. I, uh, my, my audio, pretty much audio editor, kind of uh, thought I had said a bad word, which I didn't. Uh, but hey, if, if you have missed uh, the first five episodes, including this one, which would be episode five, go on over to abc.com, uh, and pretty much you should be able to watch all five of the episodes there. Okay, let's get on with this episode, which is called, by the way, Walk the Swine, which is a play on of, of the movie Walk the Line with Reese Witherspoon, uh, in it, uh, which was the Johnny Cash uh documentary movie anyway um, I did like this video I mean, or this this video I, I did like this episode by the way it didn't have a lot of stuff crammed in it in just uh, about 20 25 24 minutes of it uh, they, they didn't put as much plots as they have been in the last few I mean there, there have been less there hadn't been really a lot uh, this one only has three which isn't too bad and it's not all crammed together to me you know uh, plus, there's not a lot of celebrities that they've crammed into one. There's only one in this one, which is Reese Witherspoon, which I just mentioned. Uh, so, uh, pretty much the first plot of it is uh, Miss Piggy. Is try she, she wants to pretty much... Uh, oh, uh, she not take revenge, but she wants to, wants to up. Uh, one over Reese Witherspoon, knowing that Reese Witherspoon had gotten an Oscar, and uh, Miss Piggy wanted to one up her, and everything. Well, when uh, Miss Piggy finds out that Reese is going to be going to uh, help build some some houses and everything, Miss Piggy says, "Oh, I'm going to be there too," and Reese is like, "Oh, well, maybe we'll get to see each other." Uh, so pretty much, uh, Piggy, uh, you know, goes to the construction site where uh, where Reese is and. Uh, she tries to up, up, up her by calling in a camera crew to try to get her uh, to, uh, to, you know, to for people to see her on the news and say, "Oh, look, Miss Piggy's helping out uh, people by building, you know, building uh, houses for 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 people that have lost their houses in hurricanes and other, you know." And so she she tries to do that. Uh, Reese finds out that she's trying to do all this and things just go to hell so they're fighting and everything and uh, they both bump into one side of the house which isn't you know completely built it's just the frame part and it falls over and so after that you know Miss Piggy uh, kind of in a way has said, and I mean, she's like embarrassed herself. And she, she wants to try to, you know, apologize for, for doing this to Reese. And so she brings her back on her show and she apologizes, or Reese apologizes to her. Well, uh, Piggy, instead of just saying, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, you know. Well, she like makes this big elaborate musical and everything. <laughs> Of, of telling Reese that she's sorry and everything, which at the end of the song she goes, I win, I win, I win, ha 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 ha, you know, so uh, she pretty much just did it just uh, 
one up Reese Witherspoon like she wanted to do. Um, the, the second plot is with Scooter and Rizzo. And Rizzo has pretty much has uh, uh, pretty much a crash into Scooter's car and Scooter gets mad and uh, so Rizzo doesn't want to have like you know have to go to court for all this so he tries to help Scooter out by by giving him these cards these business cards of his relatives that can help him you know uh, get the dent out get the scratches out uh, loan him another car so he don't have to uh, get a lawyer so he don't have to worry about you know so Rizzo Rizzo just doesn't want you know to make a big mess of this this thing and every time that Rizzo ends up offering uh, these uh, these businesses to to Scooter well Scooter keeps getting conned I mean he gets money uh, uh, conned out he gets pulled over by the police due to uh, uh, the car that he's that he's using at the time it was like illegal or something. Uh, uh, he he ends up sending, you know, like, like I'm saying, he pretty much gets conned out of all this stuff, and finally he, you know, tells her, I ain't gonna, you know, sorry, I'm not gonna fall for any more of you. Let's just go to my insurance. So, hoping that, hopeful, hopefully that Scooter has some real good insurance uh, for to be able to get his car fixed and everything. And, you know, every, so he doesn't have to. So he don't have to keep on being conned by Rizzo. Uh, the third one, pretty much the third plot, which is the final, is between uh, Fozzie and his girlfriend, which is cool. We're getting to see. Uh, um, oh, what's her name? Uh, oh, uh, Ricky uh, uh, Lindholm Lin and everything, who plays Becky, his girlfriend, uh, which I think is kind of cool. I mean, I've I've always. I thought she was always a pretty good actress. Um, I've always liked her. She's funny and everything. So we get to see uh, Fozzie doing his stand-up. And Pepe and Rizzo and Gonzo and, his, and Becky are all at the, at the comedy club watching him, you know. And he's kind of bombing at first. Nobody's liking his, you know, and the guys are saying, oh, he's using his old, his old material. Why can't, you know, he come up with new material and... Well, then he starts talking about his girlfriend, which just kills the place, which pretty much everybody's just laughing and everything. They're liking it, except for Becky, who's, who's kind of getting a little kind of, you know, P.O. that he's uh, sharing all, all of her personal stuff. Uh, so uh, later on in the episode, you see Becky, and she's she has come to work, and... Uh, she's telling all the guys of all of Fozzie's personal things, like going outside after he's taken a bath and shaking, like what bears would do if they would have, you know, took, uh, pretty much been in the lake or something, they go, you know, shake their fur out. Uh, so they come to an agreement that, you know, he's not going to say nothing personal about her and she, and, you know, she won't say nothing personal about him. <coughs> Even though at the end, he's doing his material and everything, and he's bombing, nobody likes him, they're booing him off the stage, and finally his girlfriend realizes, hey, I, I could probably stand a couple of, of pokes at me, so he says, hey, Fozzie, uh, tell so, something about your girlfriend, you know, and he's like, his eyes light up like, oh, really, are, are you okay with it, you know, as in making it seem like. And she goes, yeah, so he starts talking about, you know, his girlfriend again. Everybody's died laughing. They think it's funny. And uh, really, I thought it was a really good episode. I mean, all the plots were funny. Um, I really did like uh, getting to see Fuzzy's girlfriend again, so. All right, now let's get to my top funniest lines or gestures in this episode. Number one. Uh, this takes place at the beginning of the show. Kermit's pulling up uh, to work. Notices that there's like a food truck where the guest spot, where pretty much the guest parking is. And he's wondering whatever's wrong. He talks to Bobo. And Bobo's saying that he told uh, he told Miss Piggy everything that, that Kermit told him to tell her. And she didn't like it. And, 
you know, about having to park so far away, Miss uh, Miss Witherspoon having to park so far away, and that she could walk, you know, that she has two legs, and so, you know, he's, and so Bobo, he, he says that uh, one line, or one of the things he told Miss Piggy was um, that, uh, that pretty much, yeah, I mean, pretty much that she could uh, walk. She had two legs, and so, like, he's like, well, I don't think she should have, and he said what she says is, la, 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 I can't hear you. <laughs> it's just how Bobo uh, delivers the line. It's just, it's what makes it funny. It's so deadpan. Just, it's not like, la, 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 I can't hear you. You know, it's just, just straight. You know, there's no curves or waves or whatever you call it in the, in the line of him delivering it, and it's, that's what makes it funny. Number two, uh, this is pretty much uh, Kermit is apologizing to Reese Witherspoon before she's about to go on the show about having to park so far away and all this. And Reese is like, oh, it's all right. It's okay. Uh, Miss Piggy sent me a, a basket of muffins and everything. And uh, uh, I thought it was all as well. And he goes, well, she, she's still, you know, mad about the Oscar. And she goes, oh, she's still mad about this and everything and da-da-da, you know, and uh, she goes, it's okay, I had a valet, and da-da-da, you know, and, uh, he says, okay, well, you know, and so, Miss Piggy introduces her, and Kermit goes to an assistant, and tells, you know, uh, tells him to go find Reese's car, wherever it might be, and to go get the muffins out of, uh, um, out of, uh, Miss, or out of, uh, Reese's, uh, dressing room, not to eat them, because, I mean, she don't know what if her piggy might have done with them. And Kermit says, oh, wait, uh, wear gloves. And it's that line right there, like, <laughs> like <laughs> what could Miss Piggy have done to those muffins that would almost make it uh, bad enough that you'd have to wear gloves to touch them, you know. So, And the, uh, the look on the assistant's face is pretty funny on, on whatever he needs, like, oh. It's, uh, I just thought that was pretty funny. Number three, uh, it takes a little. This part takes a little bit after uh, the part whenever he's talking to Reese Witherspoon about uh, Miss Piggy and the Oscar and uh, the muffins and the valet and stuff. And Kermit's talking one on one to the camera crew and everything, say talking about how Piggy is and everything. And that and one of the lines he delivers is, "Yeah, I pretty much say a prayer before I start my car." Uh, <laughs> and it's that line that uh, makes you think, what what does, I mean, to know or not to know of what Miss Piggy could do to uh, to Kermit's car. I mean, just to know if you were to start it and that thing blew up, bye-bye well, Kermit, you know. <laughs> so, oh goodness, Ugh, Miss Piggy, she's, she's, you know, I wouldn't want to be on her bad side, I'm telling you now. She could, number four. Uh, this is, this scene takes place where it's after the show and, uh, Miss Piggy's getting undressed and Kermit's trying to convince uh, Miss Piggy not to go to, uh, the construction site to help, uh, Reese just because she wants to, uh, one-up her and, uh, you know, trying to be good acting and stuff so people will like her even more and, uh, during that part she's trying to take, take off her Spanx, which Uncle Deadly is there kind of helping her. And it's what Uncle Deadly says after she gets her Spanx off. And he goes, and he says, you've worked pretty hard tonight. Brava. As he's walking off. And it's just, <laughs> it's the way he's holding them. And all this, almost like a pair. I mean, I understand pretty much Spanx are like uh, panties or in a way like, you know, they're supposed to uh, tighten your, uh, your, your, pretty much your body to where it doesn't look like you have a lot of fat. So, <laughs> but, I mean, just the way he's, you know, uh, trailing, I mean, pretty much walking off the camera with, with these, uh, pairs of Spanx and everything. I, I thought it was funny. Number five. Uh, this takes place pretty much, uh, Miss Piggy's on the phone, uh, and, uh, like, a, trying to disguise her voice and everything, uh, trying to get, a. Uh, a camera crew to come to the construction site to, to film her, to, 
so that when people see her on the news, they'll say, oh, Miss Piggy's trying to help, you know, uh, the people who don't have houses or, you know, who have lost their houses. And, uh, well, Reese finds out what she's doing and everything. And uh, as we, Reese is walking over towards her, she's she's banging on this uh, porta potty with a hammer. And uh, Miss Piggy goes, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... Um, uh, I'm I'm just working a little bit on on the pole house and everything. And Reese is like, "That's a that's a porta potty." She goes, "No, it's not a pole house." She goes, "You are banging on a porta potty with a beda with a pink bedazzled hammer and everything." And it's that line, uh, "You're banging on a porta potty with a pink bedazzled hammer and everything." And it's mostly the what, what you're hearing after she says the line of the guy who's in the porta potty and everything and what Reese and Piggy are saying. But that line just made me laugh. It, it was uh, one of the lines I thought that was the funniest of the whole episode. You know, just knowing how Miss Piggy is and not knowing that she, you know, was banging on a porta potty and everything. And so that's what made it made me laugh the most. I love that one. Number six. Uh, this is pretty much a, a, uh, is after uh, uh, Miss Piggy is thinking that she's won everything and uh, she's uh, she goes to Reese and everything and she goes, hey, I, I need you to, to speak into my phone and say, I win, you know, and everything. And I want that to be my new ringtone. And uh, Reese says, well, my ringtone is people clapping because I got the Oscars. But uh, Reese grabs the phone out of Piggy's hand and Piggy's like, that's my phone. They kind of fight over it and everything. Well, they hit the side of the house, the frame, one of the sides of the, the house that they're working on, the frame. And the whole thing just falls over onto the ground. And the look on Reese's face in disgust and like surprise because they end up seeing like a camera crew and everything. And Miss Piggy, her line is, oh, I'm going to have to take back the other one about uh, the pink bedazzled hammer. But this one really made me laugh the most. Am I the only one who felt that earthquake? Oh my gosh, it knocked down a house. Whoops. Aftershock. And it's <laughs> after, I mean, she pretty much knocks Reese down and everything. She falls down and she goes, whoops, aftershock. And it's just, <laughs> she walks away. And it's it's the the whole line that uh, that Piggy when, uh, how she delivers it just like uh, delivering any type of funny line is just what she you know is like oh my gosh it knocked down a house and it's just that <laughs> oh gosh I mean that I, I'm gonna have to take back the other one and say this was my favorite line of of the whole episode so <laughs> pretty funny all right there was pretty much my. All my, uh, are the, the top funniest lines and gestures of, of this episode. Now it's time for the full body shot. I know that I've always said that a full body shot would be from head to toe or paw or flipper or whatever. Uh, but here's how I kind of see it. I see it that is if you can see at least their head their body, their arms, their legs, and their feet. I call that pretty much a full body shot. Now, yes, I mean, most times a full body shot would be getting to actually see them without there being nothing for the performer to hide underneath and for them to have to digitally remove the performer and then, you know. But that's pretty much how I, uh, how I see full body shots. So full body shots to me is you see their face, their head, their arms, their body, their legs, their torso, and their feet pretty much all in the same shot. You know, even if they are, co even if the performer is covered up by a couch or a brick wall or you know whatever it is or a desk or you know. So that's pretty much how I see. It. I just wanted to get get that straightened out so that you know at least we know whatever. Uh, how I see a full body shot is. Also, I, I should mention that 
really this segment shouldn't be just called Full Body Shot. It should be called the Fantastic Miss Piggy Full Body Shot segment. And why I say that is because pretty much throughout the whole episode, that's all you're pretty much seeing is mostly Miss Piggy and her uh, pretty much full body. So, I mean, you, you're hardly ever seeing any of the other characters like that. So, that's whatever this segment will be called. The Fantastic Miss Piggy Full Body Shot Segment. Uh, the first one is uh, Miss Piggy sitting in a limo as she's being uh, drove to the construction site where uh, Reese uh, Witherspoon is. Uh, pretty much you can see pretty much her full body. Uh, you see she has like little boots and stuff and all. It's kind of cute and everything. She has like on a, a little uh, um, construction belt with uh, her tools or a uh, tool belt pretty much. I thought that was kind of cute. Uh, the second one is really more of a, uh, a clip or instead of it being a picture like I'm going to be showing, like an army showing my, it'll be a clip of, of her. It's more of a quick shot of you seeing pretty much her full body with the camera. But I'm going to slow it down for y'all so y'all can be able to see it. Uh, but you get to see pretty much her full body in, in the shot. Um, the third one is of her lying on the couch. Uh, feeling sorry for herself or embarrassed, you know, and like I'm saying, that's not really a, a, uh, except for knowing that Eric, Eric Jacobson, the one that performs Miss Piggy, uh, he's probably having to be cramped up underneath that couch just to be able to perform her in that little scene, you know, so, I mean, he's having to stick his hand all the way, you know, through a hole in the couch and up through there just to be able to perform her, so, I mean, it's a tricky shot, but, I mean, it's, not as as tricky as uh, other shots are. The fourth one is pretty much uh, you get to pretty much she's standing up on her desk. Uh, she's being carried around by the uh, dancers and everything on stage, and so you know that Eric Jobson or Eric Jacobson is is trying to he, he's having to keep up with the dancing performers as he's manipulating or performing Miss Piggy throughout those scenes. So, I mean, it, it's hard. I mean, you're having to, you know, uh, you're having to do, you know, multitask pretty much of those scenes. But, I mean, I, I really did like uh, that scene with her doing the big musical number and everything and you get to see her full body and stuff like that. Um, and that's pretty much all of the full body shots of this segment. Or, like I like to call it, the, the Fantastic, fantastic Mrs. Piggy, Piggy Full Body Shot segment. segment! My final thoughts of the episode, I really did enjoy it. Uh, they didn't cram as much stuff as they did. They didn't put too many uh, celebrities, they only used one. Three uh, with their spoon. Uh, the writers, the set builders, the props, the performers, they all did great in this episode, I thought. Really did a great job. Um, <clears throat> I really did love Reese Witherspoon. I've always had a crush on her ever since the movie The Man in the Moon, which is a really good movie, and if you ever get a chance, you need to watch it. It's a really good movie. That's where I first fell in love with her, and this is back whenever I was like 13 or 14, so that'll pretty much <laughs> tell you the reason why in the movie why I kind of you know, had a crush on her. I did notice in the background I got to see Beauregard, um, I'm hoping that in, in later episodes that Dave, Dave Goals will maybe f perform him to where we'll actually get to see uh, Beauregard more, you know, like actually get to see him have some lines and stuff in the show. Uh, I thought for a good uh, part in, in one of the episodes that they should do with Beauregard is that he's using his taxi and he's having to go pick up a celebrity like at the airport or something. Like the assistant wasn't able to, uh, her assistant wasn't there, he was sick or something, so they had to get Beauregard to go pick pick up the celebrity for, you know, to be on the talk show with Miss Piggy, and so they get stuck in traffic. So, I mean, I think that'd be a pretty funny, pretty funny episode. Uh, if, I mean, that is if, if they, they were to do it that way, you know, wrap Beauregard in as, as that little part, that'd be pretty funny.
Well, that's the end of this Muppet review. Well, until next time, thanks for watching if you watched. Uh, thanks for liking if you liked. Thanks for subscribing if you subscribed. If you have clicked on that like button, or if you have clicked on that subscribe button, thank you. If you haven't clicked on the like or the subscribe button, do it. Come on, please. Uh, more than welcome to, you know, uh, do a video with you or something. Or may maybe we could, you know, do something uh, to where I could answer answer y'all's questions or something. Uh, tell, tell me uh, something else that I could do in my videos other than doing these reviews and the other videos I've done. Uh, give me something to... to to do, you know, uh, ask me questions and I'll, uh, you know, uh, I'll answer them in a video or something. How's that? Uh, do that or something. Until next time, YouTubers, uh, this is me saying, frogs, bears, chickens and thing, boys and girls and women and men from all over the world, it's your VHS collector Kyle. Bye!